Hi guys, welcome back. So ngayon, ETA pa rin ang topic natin. Again, what is the formula of time? Time is equal to distance over speed. Distance in nautical miles, speed in knots. So last time, basic lang yung ginawa natin computation ng ETA. Ngayon, lalagyan natin ng konting dagdag. Magkaibang zone description pero same hemisphere. Western Hemisphere or Eastern Hemisphere. Isa lang muna dun. Okay? Diretso tayo example. Again, hindi ako mag-specify ng place. I'll just use point A and point B. The purpose of this, para kahit anong problem ibigay sa inyo ng teacher nyo, or kung ano man ma-encounter nyo sa barko pag nakasakay na kayo, just remember na kahit anong problem yan, it's still from this point to the next point. From point A to point B. And the solution will never change. Okay. So, from point A to point B. Let's say the distance is 5,500 nautical miles. And the speed is 12 knots. Then, let's put the zone description. Let's say from point A, the zone description is UTC plus 4.0 and point B is our arrival point ar arrival position the zone description is UTC plus 8.0 without giving you any specific place country you need to realize that by giving this zone description you know that you moved eastward from point A to point B because the Zone description increased. So, a quick review. If this is the primary region or our zero longitude, anything to the right or to the east, we got, we have plus 1, plus 2, etc. Then, anything to the west, we will have UTC minus 1, minus 2, and so on. Okay? It's a quick review. So, from this example, this is the 4.0 and this is the 8.0. Quick visual, we can see that we move eastward. Okay? Now, let's say our departure time is uh, 22nd of January. 2023 at 0600 local time. Departure time is on local time, meaning the zone description of this is UTC plus 4 or 0400. Same procedure as last time, we need for our, we will compute for our steaming time. So time is equal to distance, which is 5,500 nautical miles over 12 knots or knots is also nautical mile per hour we cancel nautical miles we have our remaining so 5500 divided by 12 we get 458.33 hours so, then, what we do next is we convert this to day, hours, and minutes. How to do it? Divided by 24 to get the number of days. The whole number again is your number of days, whole days. Then, remove the days times 24 to get the hours, 0 to hours, and remove the whole number. The remaining multiply by 60 to get the minutes. 20. Nakakasunod ba lahat? Okay. So, ano gagawin natin ngayon dito sa nakuha nating value? This is steaming time. I-apply natin siya sa departure time natin. I-rewrite natin ang departure time. Ganito yung format na ginagawa ko. Year. Month. 
day, hours, and minutes. Kung mapapansin nyo, pababa ng pababa. Pinakamalit yung minutes, pinakamalaki yung year. So, ang purpose nito is for the calculation later. Steaming time, nakuha natin 19 days, 2 hours, 20 minutes. So, lagyan natin dito. Tapat lang natin. Then, always add the values. Starting from the right to left. 0, 0. Itong part na to. 0 minutes plus 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Then, next hour part. 6 hours plus 2 hours. 0, 8 hours. 22 days plus 19 41 days Then, bring down the rest The problem here is January, the month of January Only has 31 days So what we need to do is Reduce these days By 31 The maximum number of days of January Then, we will add The days to the Month Column here Okay so, the maximum number of days for January is 31. We will subtract this. This is equivalent to one month for the January. Answer will be, bring down 20 minutes, 0, 8 hours. 41 minus 31 days is 10 days. And then, the number of days that we subtracted here will be added to the month column. In this case, only one month is deducted. So, only one month will be added in this column. January plus one month is February. And then, no change in 2023. So, you can see now the purpose of this arrangement. In any changes here, you can immediately apply to the next column. Any changes here, you can immediately apply to the next column. Let's say this is December. So when you add, one month will be January plus another year. So I will add here. Okay? That is the purpose of this arrangement. Now, is this our final answer? Not yet. Back to our first paper. We see that the departure time is UTC plus 4.0 and the arrival time is UTC plus 8.0 The time difference between the two is 4 hours. So departure zone description is UTC plus 4.0 Arrival zone description is UTC plus 8.0 We just need to get the difference between the two. The difference of the two is 4. Next, we will apply this answer here. So, this is time difference. Remind, remember that this is in local time. Okay. Time difference is 0, 4 hours. Are we going to add or are we going to subtract? If you moved eastward, you will always add the value. If you move westward, you will always subtract the value. Remember this rule. So since we moved from 4.0 going to 8.0, we moved eastward. That's why we are going to add the value. Now, our ETA will be 2023, February 10th. Add 820 plus 4 hours is 1220 local time. So, that is our final answer. Now, I will show you another way to compute for this. We convert the departure time into 
universal time. Now it is given in local time. We convert this to universal time. How to convert this to universal time? Okay. Departure time. To convert this to UT, bring down this value here. We copy the 4. And then the sign plus will be reversed. Opposite of plus, of course, is minus. Then we do the computation. 0, 0600 0, 0 minus 0, 0400 0, 0 is 0, 0200. 0, 0. Now we put here UT. This is our new departure time. Now we go back to the same procedure. We apply the steaming time. We always add. So same procedure. Minus 31 days. Now this is already correct. If the instructor or the professor did not ask for the specific sign. But if he asked for local time, we need to apply the zone description of arrival place. So UTC plus 8.0. So we will just add the 8.0 or 0800. So zone time is plus 0800. Then we will have our ETA in local time, 2023, February 10. Add 420 plus 8 hours is 1220 local time. Ayan. Nakuha natin ang tamang sagot, ang kaparesan sagot pulod ng first solution natin. So kayo na lang mamili kung saan kayo madadalian. Applicable din to kahit sa Western Hemisphere. Okay? Thank you at good luck sa inyong pag-aaral. Bye-bye!